Hello dear students, welcome to the class on Opioid Analgesics. In this class, let's learn about Morphine Mechanism of Action. So there are spinal as well as supraspinal mechanism. So first we will see about the supraspinal mechanism. So here the morphine produces analgesia by acting on the pain transmission pathway and also by modulating the pain transmission pathway. So coming to the pain transmission where morphine acts on the transmission pathway from periphery to the central sites where they have a direct action on the peripheral tissue, direct action on the peripheral tissue where it inhibits the sensitivity to the tissue injury or damage to the peripheral tissues and also at the second side they also inhibit the transmission through dorsal horn of spinal cord and also it inhibits the transmission from the thalamus to the other relay centers like somatosensory as well as limbic cortex and also it inhibits the projection of transmission of signals from parabrachial nucleus to the amygdala. So this is about the pain transmission pathway. Coming to the pain modulating pathway which is shown by the opiate which mainly acts on the midbrain, mainly acts on the midbrain where it acts on the preaqueductal area as well as rostral ventral medulla to cause descending inhibition. So it enhances the it enhances the descending inhibition to the dorsal horn. So whereas in the pain transmission pathway they were inhibiting the pain sensitivity as well as pain signaling transmission to the spinal cord from periphery to the higher centers whereas in the pain modulating pathway they act on the midbrain to increase the or enhance the descending inhibition to the dorsal horn. So descending inhibition means it is the pain descending pathway. There will be increase in the descending inhibitory pathway to the dorsal horn. So this is the explanation. So it has got direct action, direct action on the peripheral tissue where it inhibits the inflamed as well as the damaged peripheral tissue signal transmission and also it has got inhibition to the transmission from the spinal cord through the dorsal horn. Also it inhibits the signal from thalamus to the somatosensory cortex as well as limbal cortex and also from brachial, parabrachial nucleus to the amygdala. So on the pain modulating neurons especially in the midbrain it acts on the preaqueductal area as well as rostral ventral medulla and locus cerulus. Remember it is an indirect action, it is an indirect action. The action on the pain modulating neurons is an indirect action whereas on the pain transmission pathway it is a direct action. So the indirect action will be produced on the pain transmission pathway by enhancing the descending inhibition to the dorsal horn. So coming to spinal actions of opiate action. So in the spinal action they are going to reduce the excitatory transmitter release. Remember they will reduce the excitatory transmitter release from the presynaptic terminal. So it is a presynaptic terminal of nociceptive primary afferents by reducing the or inhibiting the calcium influx. So this reduction in the calcium influx is through the agonistic activity on the kappa delta as well as mu receptors on the presynaptic nerve terminal. Coming to the postsynaptic nerve terminal, this opiate has got mu agonistic action on the postsynaptic 
terminal they reduce the pain transmission by hyper polarization of second order pain transmission neurons so on the post synaptic nerve terminals these opiates act on the mu receptor it has got agonistic activity and causes hyper polarization of the second order pain transmission neurons by increasing the potassium conductance by increasing the potassium conductance which evokes the or which enhances the inhibitory postsynaptic potential so it enhances the inhibitory postsynaptic potential thereby it uh, produces analgesic effect so coming to the spinal sites um, mechanism of action of analgesia produced by opiate on the spinal side this is the uh, chart which is showing both presynaptic pre action as well as postsynaptic action at the presynaptic nerve terminals which acts on the nociceptive primary pain afferents they reduces the excitatory transmitter release by inhibiting the calcium influx on the postsynaptic pain transmission neurons they cause hyperpolarization they cause hyperpolarization by increasing the potassium conductance thereby it enhances the inhibitory postsynaptic potential so coming to the summary of the opiate uh, mechanism in producing uh, analgesia so it has got spinal as well as supraspinal spinal it acts on the presynaptic terminals it has got agonistic activity at kappa delta and mu receptors they inhibit calcium influx thereby it inhibits the excitatory transmitter release from the presynaptic nociceptive primary afferent pathway whereas primary afferent neurons whereas on the postsynaptic neurons they act on the mu receptor it has got agonistic activity they cause hyperpolarization of the second order pain transmission neurons by increasing the potassium conductance thereby it uh, enhances the inhibitory postsynaptic potential coming to the supraspinal action it has got uh, action on the pain transmission pathway as well as pain modulation pathway in the pain transmission pathway it inhibits the impulse transmission from periphery to the higher centers it has got direct action uh, on the peripheral tissue where it inhibits the pain sensation whenever there is a damage to the tissue or injury to the tissue and also it inhibits the transmission of impulses from dorsal on or spinal cord to the higher centers and also it inhibits the transmission of uh, pain impulses from thalamus to the somatosensory as well as limbic limbal cortex with respect to the pain modulating pathway these opiate opiate drugs acts on the midbrain uh, areas like pre aqueductal area as well as uh, rostral ventral medulla thereby it uh, enhances the it enhances the inhibition of descending pathway it enhances the inhibition of descending pathway to the dorsal horn where here it inhibits the impulse transmission pain impulse transmission whereas in the midbrain it enhances the inhibition of enhances the inhibition of descending pathway to the dorsal horn thank you